Welcome to another week of MMO Concept Art. I'm Instructor Steve Curtis, and with me tonight are Sergio and Richard and Wolf. How are you guys doing? Doing good. All right, I've got some stuff loaded up. Uh, we have guys who are sick, guys who are at work, so it's going to be a short week, but we have loaded up some work from Sergio. Talk to me, buddy. Okay. Um, mainly what I did, it's only a modification to the blade. Um, I wasn't happy last week with the with the result I got uh, because it was merely a gradient uh, and the, the actual blade I did in the concept I, I had a lot of more of detail um, I didn't modify the sculpt or anything I just grabbed the concept warp it and use X normal to to modify the normals and that's pretty much the result. <laughs> Which may not sound like a lot of work to everybody, but Sergio is sick and has been working from the toilet all week. So that's actually quite a bit of a <laughs> <That's good> job. <laughs> you, you have a way with words, Steve. I know. Thank you. <laughs> no, it looks great, man. I, I love the render. I love the concept of that sword. Yeah, I was um, thinking about doing a, one more without the the hand guard, the the protection of the hand, let's say. Okay. Uh, so it will be much easier to manipulate for the for the character. Indeed, I would like to see that. Yeah, it will be pretty much the same design. Uh, I will only change that that bit where the two parts connect. That's it. But I don't know. I had to work on it. What's that called, Steve? Something like pommel? Yeah, it's the pommel something? guard. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I don't know anything about swords or how to use them. <laughs> Second, guys. Yeah, I but think you, that would you, be well, you know you need you need your, a working hand. Sorry, guys, to back. Use them. Yeah. You know you need a working hand to use one, and those help you keep that. That is true. Also, also, I think it's also uh, maybe even a little bit more so you don't slip uh, your hands down to the blade, and cut your hands. Yeah, but the distance is is actually pretty. I mean, it's it's pretty far out the blade from the from the grip, so that wouldn't really happen in this case. Um, I would really like to take it out because um, I had maybe I I I will leave a, a hint of it yeah. uh -huh. or something that will make another blade, for example, uh, slip off. But um, in this way. It's um, kind of hard. The way I put it in the lithium, which is in the back, uh, with the with the grip um, to the hip, let's say, uh, um, it will be kind of hard to actually change the direction uh, of the blade uh, with uh, with a guard. Uh, you say that's in it in the hilt or something? Huh? It you're saying when the sword is put away, like when he's well, uh, when, when puts it in when a sheath or something. Yeah, when it's put away, it's uh, it's actually on the um, the 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 pommel, the the grip of the sword actually uh, gets um, stays down uh, at the height of the hip, so he will pull it uh, with the uh, he, he will pull it uh, the the other way around, let's say. Yeah, it, it it would be pulled with a reverse draw, which would make a pommel yeah. very uncomfortable. Yeah, I I'm not really sh I don't really uh, uh, fall. Like no. It's, it's uh, if if he has a sword on his back, with the hilt okay. with the hilt down. Uh huh. If he reaches back. Without twisting his arm. Oh, also, it's actually fa it's facing down. Yeah, because in reality, that's they always have the hilt way up over their shoulder, but in reality, uh -huh. nobody carries a sword like that. 
because, they wouldn't because be it's able almost to draw impossible it. to draw it. Yeah. At least in time. <laughs> Maybe he draws it, but he will already be pierced by whoever he has in front. So, uh, what keeps gravity from from it uh, falling out? Is it some Actually, kind of... um, I put it in a way that uh, if you remember the the armor, it actually has like a, a dent in the in the back part where uh -huh. the lights are. Uh -huh. uh, I left the the blade like um, like it, it stick stuck in there. Okay, so it fixes it in there and yeah. Yeah, t uh, typically the uh, the sheath has a narrowed bit, and it, if you put a sword in right like the last inch, you'll actually feel it click, and that's uh -huh. that's yeah. what keeps them from falling out when they're upside down. Yeah. All right, so so the blade will actually be sticking up to the and up into the side. It's like uh, where the lights are. It's not like uh, you're sheathing it. Just uh, it's like uh, just Placing it in there, it will keep it there. Uh, think that, like magnets, for example. And uh, if, you will just. And if he reaches down to pull that sword, his hand is. Bear with me because I don't have my tablet hooked up. His hand is actually reaching this way for it, and you'd be yeah. and you'd be looking at the inside of it at his palm. So when he draws it, it's actually a reverse draw. The blade would lie along the forearm, which would make yeah. the pommel very uncomfortable. Does that make sense, Wolf? No, I didn't. I didn't. I, I don't follow the reverse. Um, the if, reverse part. If you go to the renders uh, folder. There is one that it, that he's holding the weapon um, on the floor. Uh, that might give him an idea because it's actually the way he draws it, but he's just placing it in the in the ground. So uh, does he pull it out to the side, not down? <laughs> okay. Uh, see how he's holding it right here. Last night, Mark, it oh, he, upside off. down. Yeah, but see how his hand has it. Yeah, like it's. Now imagine. Have to flip it. Now imagine if it were across his back with the handle over here, and he just uh -huh. reached down. That's how he'd grab it. So, so if he lifts it up, it's actually in a reverse grip. So, so um, if if the handle was kind of sticking out down and to the right is it like a, on a diagonal thing is it yep. how it would be fixed okay so so it seems like there's a a perfect it seems like the that the pommel is is on the th that thing is fanning <laughs> out on the side that would be facing down which which would be fine cuz he would be yeah but when you if you actually uh, grab a sword and try to flip it in your hand without using your other hand, uh, I don't know how to explain it in English, but um, that movement will be very uncomfort uh, uncomfortable to make with a uh, with that guard. When when it's when it's in the sheath, yes, he can grab it with that reverse grip with the pommel there. But with what with what you're looking oh. at right now, imagine as he draws it that this sword is actually following the line of his forearm. Yeah. You, you, what you're saying is you don't want it to look like how, what it's looking right there. Well, it's just uh, your wrist is going to hit this a lot in a reverse draw. Mm. So and that would be actually so, pretty painful. So so, so he's yeah. he's not using a reverse draw right now is what you're saying. Well, he's, he's holding it draw. that way just because that's how Sergio happened to render it. But, but okay, but, but basically, um, Wolf, imagine if you're holding the sword like that and then bend your wrist down. You're gonna notice the guard digging into your wrist. Whereas something that has a very small guard, like a Japanese sword or no guard at all, 
then it makes more intricate sword work available to you at, yeah. the, at the expenditure of protecting your hand. So I, I'm, not, I'm not completely sure what the re, uh, reverse draw is. I think, I think that this is depicting uh, uh, a, a standard draw and, and you're, you're saying like he would have to draw it and it would be kind of facing down, it would be the wrong way, but if he wanted to he he wanted to switch his hand kind of the opposite way yeah. to to pull it so it so he'd be holding it up and correctly well in that a, would be reverse in a stand, a stand in a draw? standard draw if he were holding the sword with his arm like that the sword would be pointed up yeah oh wait i i see I, his his palm is not is not heading towards us it's it's it, we're getting the back of his hand no that's his so, palm is heading towards seen us. The palm. Uh, uh, I, don't know. <laughs> I believe you. But but when he draws Ice. it, uh. but the way it is when he draws it, he would actually be drawing it like that but the sword would be behind him. Right. No, I mean, it's there. there is, a, if you grab it uh, from the, the top of the handle, like uh, from the, what would be up, the up side of that, away from the pommel, uh, the thing that fans out, you would actually be able to pull it out smoothly, but you would be holding the, sword wrong for uh, for using it and you'd have to do some kind of uh, flippy thing to... You know, one thing we could do is if you keep the palm, like the, the guard for your fingers and you get rid of the uh, the portion of the pommel that juts out and would dig into your wrist, then you basically have the best of both worlds. You have nothing obstructing your handling of the sword, but you still have protection for your fingers. And you just, grab, you just grab that portion that's above the hand guard when you need to manipulate with both hands. See, the other thing I was thinking was if he did a much reduced guard or no guard at all on basically the same sword, then he's, yeah. then he's built in an automatic upgrade for us. That's true, too. Uh, that's what I was thinking of doing, yeah. Um, you could do, um, instead of a guard, you could make it um, uh, like um, a, a bit, uh, the, the portion of the hilt, uh, of the grip, let's say, that, um, that connects to the, to the rest of the blade, you could do it like um, like a slide, let's say. I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but if a sword hits there, it will slide off and it wouldn't cut your fingers. So. Hmm. I wonder. See, it sounds like this that I really wish I had a 3D printer, because then I could print out the handguard and we could actually fiddle with the design in real life? Oh, no, uh, I know so how just, that sword will work, that's the fun. thing. I know I, I, fun, yeah. <laughs> I had to solve mine, but um, otherwise I, I will show you, but um, yeah, it's, uh, that kind of guard is awful. For that kind of movement. Yeah, well, I use a, a katana, and when I, on the rare occasions that I actually get to go and practice Aikido, and that's one of the first lessons is making sure you don't bend your wrist too much, because otherwise the guard digs in and it's actually quite painful. Yeah, it um, is. So I I do I do understand the issue we're running into there with that one. Yeah, it's not only that, but when you flip the sword. To grab it where, uh, how you should. If you had to do it with one, uh, with just one hand, 
uh, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I could see him being just BA enough to essentially toss it in place <laughs> and grab it there. <laughs> I wouldn't animate that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he just magically has the sword uh, come out and drop down into his hand. We were talking about that at one point. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. do that. I was just and kidding. There's, a, there's a part of me that, on the one hand, that could be kind of cool. On the other hand, it's kind of Jedi. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, even Jedi's would, you know, draw their own. So it's only if the their uh, lightsaber was across the room or something. But uh, all right, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it would this, look very good. This is a standard draw, but as soon as he draws and strikes, he's going to switch to a reverse grip. It was the closest thing I could find on the fly. Now see how he reverses so the sword's along his forearm? No, I didn't, but that looked awesome. <laughs> uh, which guy are you looking at? The guy this in the... This guy right here. Yeah. Well, he 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 he, he flipped see, it, normal, and then he gave it to its other hand. And right here, he's... Right here, he's transitioning to a reverse grip. Well, it's actually a reverse grip. If you see how he's grabbing it while he draws it, while he draws yeah. it he's not grabbing it Right. Uh, like you would, yeah. Like the yeah, other he guy. does have a reverse. Yeah, it's already grip, reversed. Yeah, right. It's but actually a reverse. This is the grip rate. we were talking about. When he pulls yeah. that sword out, it's going to reverse along the forearm, and that makes pommels very difficult. Because see, it would be hitting his wrist. Mm -hmm. But it does allow but, you to do. Uh, well, well, really well, wait. Cool it would. It would only be hitting his wrist if it was facing up. If it was facing down and he did the whole thing smoothly and kept it facing down. It would well, the point is that manipulating, yeah. moving your wrist yeah. is what causes that to, right. to impact. Yeah, and once he's like this, he's fine with a with pommel like that. It's drawing from a reverse grip that that pommel can be a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so I think maybe an offset one that just it doesn't protect the back of your hand or your wrist, but it would protect your, your fingers. Then that would sort of be the best of both worlds. You've got the protection and the flexibility. But so anyway, there you go. That's the closest thing I could find on the fly. Can you bookmark that by chance? <laughs> I just closed it. I, it, it um, but I just YouTubed reverse sword draw and it was like the first thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, stuff I mean, like that would be awesome for when we actually do get to animating. Because that's going to be basically video reference in lieu of actual motion capture. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure none of us are that talented with a sword. <laughs> when, sure. when he's pulling out, when, when he was pulling out the sword, was uh, was his palm fa facing us or was the back of his hand facing us? His palm was essentially up, so that he could grab the sword and draw it reverse. Oh. Okay, so it was. The way you would normally grab the sword would be your palm down, and then you draw it over and across your hip. So re reverse is, is with palm up. For where that particular sword yeah. is on your belt, yes. Yeah, re because, uh, reverse, because, because is, reverse is it basically just means any grip that causes the blade of the sword to lie along the length of your arm instead of out in front of you. Yeah. Uh, if you want, Wolf, uh, like, I don't have 3D. <laughs> I pulled a real stupid. I brought everything except the hard drive I need to run 3D Studio Max tonight. Um, but I could set up some reference images so that you can see the difference between the two grips um, after class. I. I th I think I get it, but I think we're I think we're using different uh, terminology, uh, different uh, visual images, and at a, I think because I, I think the, the way you're the holding the sword 
when you when you do it reverse is an unusable way to like attack you have to adjust it it is definitely um, in a traditional sense not not so useful as it is flashy yeah um, in a traditional you will use it you will use it for half a second just for a deflect and nothing else yeah uh, and yeah. then it's useless use other, otherwise in practice, it's basically a defensive measure. It, if you did, if you did it with uh, with the the non-reverse grip, which I you can only assume is the standard grip, uh, that would be something like you you could pull it out and cut someone's head off because it could be instantly usable, like when samurais do that. Is that right? Uh, the reverse grip was actually samurais considered the reverse grip um, dishonorable. I'm talking about n the not reverse grip. Oh well, the not reverse grip. I it's mean, instantly yes. usable. Well, they both are, but um, well, it's strikeable. Yeah, they both are, but I don't know if I can explain that adequately. I've seen some people use the reverse grip and it did work very well but it's one of those things you have to be very good at using it and it has to be under the right circumstances. Yep. But it, it, it doesn't, it, I, I think it, you could use it quickly but not with the same power. No, it does not have as much power but it is right. faster. Okay, uh, I think I think I think I'm getting it. I think I think uh, I'm saying this same thing, but we're just saying it and thinking about it in two different ways, and so it seems like we're talking about different things. But I, I, here's some uh, I sword reference. Sweet. Go up. No, no, go, go forward, but go up. I actually um, look a lot at, at this um, deviant. Oh, you've been here? Oh, deviant art. art. Don't you? Yeah. Think of what you did, so. This user has really cool reference. There's, there, here's someone at the end of a strike with a reverse grip. Between the four of them, they got a over 700 IQ. You There's know what, someone even at the if beginning the of the strike with a first gr with a reverse grip. Those are actually good for like keyframes in an animation, actually. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I I get it now. It, it, he's he's still gripping it like you. The, the way I was thinking of it, um, it wouldn't. It would uh, like if he was holding out, like the. I don't know the the. the well. See, this is a reverse grip, but if you imagine instead of holding it in this hand, this hand is outreached, holding it exactly where the sword is, that's still a reversed grip. And that's how he would draw it from his back, is down and around like that in a strike. And it's very fast. Something like that. I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't see how he would be able to. I can't think right now how he would be able to to draw it from his back, and and keep it like that without flipping it. Uh, well, well um, if if the sword were like this, he would draw it with this hand, not the one that's holding it. Yeah, but to have it where your palms up. Uh, he would he would draw it if we took this and just took his hand in the sword and flipped it over. He, he would it draw seems it like, and then roll the wrist and draw it back, at which point he would be here. It seems exactly. like the, yeah. the blade would be facing him if he, if he pulled it out. Um, well, that depends it's, entirely it's, on loading it in your scabbard, right? <laughs> yeah. 
It's one of those things I think we would need to see it in animation to, to properly convey um, the idea behind it. But, yep. yeah, we could do that. Yeah. But yeah, that was... Uh, reverse hand techniques were developed by poorer societies to defend against things like samurais because it was much faster and even though it wasn't considered honorable, it, you usually won. And it was effective yeah. if you used it right, yeah. So you, you, you have a faster draw so you can cut them really fast? You have a faster draw and, and originally with high level uh, like samurai or knights or anything else it was honorable to take a stance and then begin fighting right but when they came up against these guys while they were p drawing their sword to go to stance these guys reverse draw and cut off their head and ran away which they thought was very dishonorable but the farmer with the sword said yay I'm still alive <laughs> and didn't care <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was very, very fast, and very effective, and since the sword is behind you, when you draw, it's very difficult sometimes to tell where the strike is coming from, so it's more difficult to defend. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about using a sword. What am I talking about? Who knows? I know a little bit, but... <laughs> I won't pretend to be an expert at all. I'm not an expert. Same here. <laughs> but, uh... But I won't say I've never cut mm. things in half with the sword. You know, actually, I've got, uh... a video here filmed by two people yeah, that neither of them are experts either. It no. still looks friggin' awesome. Can you show it? I can post it in BuzzNet. Okay. <clears throat> this is actually their sequel. They shot another one, I think, uh, probably about five years previous, and it was still actually pretty good. They just basically, uh, what they were doing was uh, an entry for a lightsaber choreography contest. And then they went in after and added in the special effects and sound and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And the kid in the blue shirt is the one that did the visuals for it. I think I saw this. pretty good work. Yeah. <laughs> and they're using more of the traditional um, traditional grips, traditional strikes, that kind of stuff. What what does that have a name, that thing where uh, they they adjust, they flip around the with the, they do a flip with their wrist to to flip the sword around. Yeah, that's, that's I don't know if just switching between a. Oh, do you yeah, or do you I mean don't... when they roll it like that? Like that. Yeah. Oh, that's just rolling it. It's just flashy. Yeah. It's just flashy. It's right. not an actual move. Yeah, I can't give you the entire term that a friend of mine uses, but yeah, he calls it flippy dippy, Yahoo. Other so, stuff. <laughs> that, that was what Sergio was talking about. Where if you had to switch from a reverse to a forward grip with one hand, that's how you, yeah. that's how you'd have to do that, and that's that's begging the other person to take your weapon away from you. Yeah, because it's very very weird. There's nothing to hold it for a split second. It, that's what I thought he was talking about, but I still I'm, I'm not completely getting. Yeah, I'm not. The thing is, I'm not used to swords. I yeah. I I could um, I don't know the terms, but I I did train with uh, uh, batons. 
Yeah. I, uh, I don't remember the terms, but it is weird to have uh, something uh, holding it that way, uh, reversed, but I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things that it's more of an emergency shield than it is any kind of refined technique. But, I mean, it works. But For a sort of sure, a batoon, I don't know. And I don't, I, I mean, um, <laughs> uh, it's hard to explain in English. Um, uh, not the the one that that has the just stick. Imagine a stick. Uh, <laughs> basically, it was that was uh, what we used. Uh, we we didn't uh, train with the ones that you had. You have actually a grip on the side. Um, so yeah. you would. Yeah. So that we would sense. never do that. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Never mind. I think I think I know the one you're talking about. It's like the nightstick that uh, that police use. Steve, should you be should you be showing so much of this video in the recording? I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, I don't know. Two million people nearly have already seen it. So. And I bet with the lightsaber comes in and hits him in the face. <laughs> It looks painful. Yeah, uh, all right, that's enough now. We're, I'm just entertaining myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, ac oh, actually the there are some martial arts lines in which uh, reverse draws and counters are used extensively. Um, yeah. One, because they're very fast. Two, because basically you've just provided a shield for your arm that's sharp. So there yep. are a lot of techniques to put that to use. Um, and it was often used with a long sword like that, which could also act as a shield, and then they would use a knife in the other hand. Yep. Well, the, the one example that I have in Aikido uh, that has a reverse draw, it's basically there as a shield, and your other hand is only as far away as it needs to be for as long as it needs to be. Your first priority is to get that other hand into position so that you can reverse it back to a standard grip. But you use both hands to do it so that you don't invite somebody to disarm you. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Sergio, play around with that. Small pommel, okay. no pommel, whatever you want to do. We'll see what we get. And it will be cool. And moderately sexy. <laughs> um, yeah, if you have time, Sergio, later on we'll meet up on Skype and chat about it. Sure. Or he'll be throwing up. Or, what yeah. It could be either one. <laughs> Or both. There's a third option. We won't be mentioning that here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Talk to me, Richard. All right. Well, um, I threw these together just because I was having fun in 3D Studio and threw a couple of guns on the table. And ten points if you can t if you can guess from that image what the uh, what the what the reference is. I know I should know it just by that enemy fighter thing. Yep. It's ticking me off that I can't. <laughs> just above the enemy fighter thing, there's something that's a dead giveaway. It's harder to read, but it's definitely there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The whole thing has kind of a Mass Effect look to me. Okay. Well, well it's not Mass Effect, but yeah. uh, I think if you have the second image there, that should be a little more clear. It kind of looks like Star Trek. Nope. Is that Battlestar? 
Yep. yep. <laughs> Battlestar. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, but uh, oh, I guess I guess they had I guess they had some cute computer stuff. They were very analog, though. It depends. Yeah, the fighters very much so. Um, but the CIC and stuff like that that they had on the ship, they had all sorts of displays and whatnot. So yeah, that's true. you know, I th I thought of uh, yeah, right it's there, funny because I Raptor, thought about Battlestar, Viper. but then I'm like, yeah. but I, th then I was like, uh, they had like. It's almost like those chessboard type type thing, like where they would push the little pieces. Yeah, that was actually I really That's liked cool. that touch. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a nice touch. Nice idea. Is this a low poly? This is the low poly model. Yep. Great work. Um, thank you. Uh, yeah, I basically was experimenting with. Uh, global lighting and stuff like that so I got that screen to throw up a lot of light and I don't know if you can tell the gun that's laying flat on the glass it's if you look reflecting. yeah if you look under the grip is actually some of the image reflected off of the uh, yeah right there yeah it looks great and it's so a I was Neo special so yep oh dear <laughs> Yeah, I was able to get that projected in at a resolution that worked without a decal, so... Nice. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, there's a couple things that I need to refine on it, though. I'm thinking that the base where the magazine goes in, it's probably better if it doesn't taper like it does. Um, but I also have to put in the actual uh, hole for the magazine. At the very least, have it projected as part of the texture. I would probably I, mean, I would probably project the hole as part of the texture. Yeah, that's that's what I'm aiming to do because really you're never going to see it aside from brief glimpses, and it'll just be to put a magazine in. So yeah. honestly, in game, even changing out a magazine, it's unlikely you'll be able to see it at that distance. Yeah, especially if the camera is uh, behind. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, I would definitely. And then you made it go pew pew pew. Yes, I did. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is inside Unity. Um, the shadows need some work, but I, that's beyond my control, sadly. Um, so yeah, I've got visual effects. So I've got uh, flash effects, and in that particular case, they're both the same graphic. It's just a different color applied to each one. Needs to learn to shoot straight. Yeah, I threw that in there just because. A little well, random. Yeah. You're never, yeah, you're never gonna shoot exactly in right. the right direction, but it's I mean, easier to put that on the bullets than it is to have it on the gun itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know how much or even if any of this particular part of the code would ever be in use by Nelson, but if it were. It's all stuff that you can change as you go. So it's basically a set of attributes you give to the weapon as far as how accurate it is, and that determines how much the the shots tend to spread out. Right. And uh, if you hit space, um, it'll actually start rotating the gun so you can see how it interacts with the lighting. You didn't tell me that. Gun looks to be orbiting in space. You have a space station that looks like a gun. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I'll do it. Oh, I'll do it too. <laughs> Only if it can transform into a robot. Ten points to you, Richard, if you can give me that reference. Spaceballs. No. Oh, I'll do it too. Oh, gosh. What reference? I'll do it too. With the laugh. It's right there and I can't remember. <laughs> it's red versus blue. Son of a gun. Poison Griff's next yep. Oh, I'll do it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry guys, one second. Alright, Wolf, I'm coming to you. Here it is. It is your time. It is your moment. Okay, one more. Okay. Sorry. Hello? Hello. So I worked a little more on this and I decided to make a, a true silhouette so you can see it. I think it, I really like it. The silhouette. So uh, these three here are ones that w we liked from last time. You guys like these two better. I uh, tried to do this one. I mean, I, I did do this one, but I you know, tried that concept. Then I tried this thing, and uh, I think this one uh, is a little is a little too. Uh, Busy? Nature like, yeah, busy. I mean, it's a little, it's a little too, or a little too organic. Uh, but uh, you know, it's still like the idea that I, I tried this one, and so then I, I, I tried a similar thing to that one up there, uh, but a little cleaner. Um, and it's, I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's it's somewhat similar, but it, it definitely is a different, uh, a somewhat different design language. But anyway, um, I think it does look neat. Uh, anyway, then I tried, I tried this. I had the idea for that. And I, I also tried uh, this one, which I actually think this one goes even better with the the helmet than this one did uh, but uh, I think this that this doesn't I, I, th I think that this doesn't necessarily uh, it, it looks like a different design language than this but I, I, I like how this looks it makes me think do something similar to this to make uh, for a different class maybe a uh, some kind of necromancer or shaman or something <laughs> kind of kind of looks like made of bones or something then I I also tried this one which I I think works a little better now now this one I I I, I do really like this one one of the reasons I was trying to get a, 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 I was trying to do something other is because it, it does seem like a different uh, design language. Uh, however, it, it's it, it's somewhat close, and uh, it it uh, it looks really nice. I think it's uh, it looks sharp together. So there, there's definitely that, and uh, like th this one uh, down here, I. Uh, I, I made that trying to look more, trying to be the same design language. I think this is as as close to the same design language as everything else that I've that I've come so far. I think I could push it a little bit farther and get um, you know, some of these darker colors would make it look uh, more like this. A little more going on there. But at the same time, I don't know if I want if I want this chest piece to be exactly like this because uh, maybe maybe it's good that it looks a little different and stands out a little bit, like um, you know some of these ones do, uh, just because uh, I don't know it. Uh, <sighs> Maybe it might make it more interesting to look at, uh, rather than everything being uh, the exact same look. I don't know. What do you guys think? And, and Steve, what do you think about the helmet? I still don't love the helmets. I still like the the band better.
watch the band. Do you like the helmet better than this? I like that band. Go back. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know you like. I know you like that. But uh, I think I think I've improved on the helmets for this one. <coughs> so, so what do you guys think of all this? You still, you still think this is the way to go? The helmet I actually like for a mage. Uh huh. Without the armor. Uh huh. Let's say. The the third one in the in the. This one. In the robe. Yeah. Uh -huh. In the same way that you were saying about the the armor that could be it could look uh, great on a necromancer, yeah, that's one. I, I actually I actually like the, that combination. Not so much, uh, maybe not so much as a helmet, but uh, some kind of crown like that. I kind of like the the, the combination I, between. The helmet and the and the chest plate, or the combination yeah. between the chest plate and the rest. Yeah, no, no, no. The the chest plate and the and the helmet uh -huh. for a for a necromancer character or a mage character. Shaman or something. Yeah, that should actually look cool. Uh, in um, maybe holding um, more of a uh, cloth armor or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. For a, yeah. For a mage. Yeah. That, that would look. Uh, what about this one? Or, I mean, like, what, 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 what ones are you liking? Or is it still? I, I'm st still I'm like. I think I'm two. still liking yeah. that fourth one the most. <laughs> This one? Yeah. No, the fourth, the, the one you were on. Yeah. No. This one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is. It is a little bit. To me, this looks a little bit more um, man-made and not so much grown magic-made. Although, obviously, that could be that could be anything. But it, it's it's clearly something that's different than than this, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I like it, I said I I really like the way it looks, but uh, but I why I've kept attempting to do something, try and figure out something that maybe um, that maybe has the same effect as the rest of the stuff that looks uh, grown. But, uh, kind of like the very last one. This? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, I, I think it's just a teeny, teeny bit too busy. Not too busy. But just, I mean, not not as unbusy as the other one I like, but just a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I think that's kind of what I was feeling about that as well. It's like almost almost there. Uh, what about this one? Too busy or too plain? <laughs> uh, only because the brown is too plain compared to everything else. Like there's no sh yeah I can't tell because there's no shadow or anything in it. Right. You know? See, I think I think if I did more, if I made it look a little bit more like this, it would it would kind of uh, just blend into it. Yeah. Which is well, and I like I like number four because it looks it looks very refined. The other stuff looks pretty rough by comparison. Uh huh. So it's sort of like uh, it it does help break away from the idea that these guys are, you know, yeah. evolved or whatever you want to, whatever the phrase is you want to apply. Right. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very, it's like, it's kind of ornamental. Like, uh, it looks, 
No, it almost looks like uh, it could be dress armor or something, which doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all to uh, it, games. You should use, depending on what kind of style you're doing, you should use dress armor if if that if that's the style. Not worry about it. But um, yeah, I mean it's kind of a neat look. But it, like I, I said, it is different than. And this stuff, but uh, I don't know that, that that's necessarily bad because it's it, because it looks good despite that. But I was trying to give other options because I I just uh, I, I almost felt a little guilty that this was that this looks it looks like it was made by a different by different means than what these stuff are, are made from. Especially these uh, arm pieces, the hmm. forearm pieces. But uh, I don't know. Personally, I think the the more refined look, I think, is a direction we might want to go in. Right. And and the thing is, uh, I can also I can also do things like this, and and like refine it more. I mean, like all all of this stuff is kind of uh, low detail. I mean, I'm not using any um, shading and uh, stuff like that, really. Um, yeah. So, I mean, there's uh, the uh, like if I was doing line drawing and stuff, like any any of these things, like right, like if you go, well, you know, I really like say this one, or I really like this one, except I don't think. I think it right now it's a little too plain. You know, I could always uh, I could always make changes and keep working on you know like that concept and try and make it look more refined if there was something like that. But I mean, like if if everybody's happy with this, you know, I'm I'm okay. I just thought I, I should point out that. Uh, that it does, it does have a different a different style um, than the rest of the stuff. Although it's it's similar it's similar enough that I think it it, it you know it goes with it okay. You know. But it, you know it's a nice look. So I don't know. It's, it's what you guys think. But anything if uh, any kind of anything here or anything I've done before, you know, it's like if you go, oh, that's an interesting idea, can you um, can you build on off of that? I could do that. Oh, it's like th this one, th see, look, this one looks like the same design language as this before I added yeah. all the... Yeah, for example, I really like in the page you have now, number four. On the top? Yeah. Yeah. Because it helps, uh, and I know it's uh, right. um, a lot more plain than the others, but right. it helps you break the form a lot. The, the Not the form, sorry, the, um, the pace when you're... Uh, right. Whenever you're making a character, you're actually composing something, right? It's like right. a composition. And right. it gives you rests. Yeah, with the contrast, where it's, this is very busy and then this is quieter, so you you know, yeah, yeah, it, it def that that definitely does make. I I think I mean if I was going to go something like this, I would I would put a little detail on it, but it would be it would be minor. It would oh yeah, be yeah, yeah, flashy. I would I wouldn't keep it like just you know, plain. I w you know it, it wouldn't it wouldn't have like this kind of detail. That, you know, would need to have that, but you know, just even with that kind of detail, you're contrasting. Um, it's it's not that great. Uh, it's not that uh, much of a contrast, but your contrast uh, yeah. is in color. Right. Um, I don't know really the words, but uh, <laughs> right. um, I, I really like um, those kinds of of designs, and the ones you have now. Cool easily uh, implement 
uh, a bit of that. If you go to the to right. the ones you did. Yeah. I uh, mean, you see, these ones are uh, a lot more uniform in color, and right. Uh, right. it doesn't give you that much rest. Right. Yeah. It, obviously, any any of this stuff can be changed to any color, and it could be different. That the the, re the reason that uh, that I made this the same color is just to show that it was like it was actually the suit that's growing. Um, out like the same stuff except it's uh, uh, more uh, thick or strong and tense. So. Yeah, it's going more on, the, on those parts. Yeah, let's say. Right, but uh, that doesn't mean. I mean, uh, there's there's a lot of different ways. I mean, I could you could handle it with. Uh, the undersuit still being brown, but it, maybe it, it's either a darker brown or a lighter brown, and these are darker, you know, or something like that. Like it could even be the the same, the the same uh, colors, the same hue, I guess, uh, but yeah, uh, different uh, different values. Uh, values and durations. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that would work uh, mainly because. Uh, uh, don't take me wrong, I love these designs, uh -huh. but that kind of break uh, actually lets you read the character a lot better. For for example, right, right now, you, your center, your point of attention is the chest, and in a character, you always want to start reading for the face. Well, yeah. not, al not always, but commonly. Yeah, it kind of it, it, there's so much information here here how it's portrayed right now. It kind of it it, it, it you have to look at it for a while to 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 read everything. I, I think. Yeah, and it's kind it's kind of busy. Yeah, I mean I I understand that. I love the detail. Just um, just with a, an adjustment in the in the hues at least. In, right. Not the hues. Sorry. The the values, the values yeah. so so it will break a bit more. It will right. establish the layering too. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, I I I really um, really wasn't worrying too much about all that. I'm just trying to get the, the design. Yeah. Yeah. Just the the sh the shapes. <laughs> that yeah. part of the design. So. But it, I mean, it 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 sounds like people are happy enough with this that that this could be uh, the thing because uh, uh, oh, yeah. I, I mean if you want me to explore this more if you think it, that could be something better if there's anything yeah. that you, you want me to explore I think it would be better that's fine but if you think this is like it's not going to get any better than than this or this is you know good at, you know as, as much as you need or want that, and then you know that's that's fine, and I uh, further move on. And except, uh, I guess, uh, we still have to figure out uh, head stuff. Yeah, but uh, I I really like the um, uh, the um, not the last one, the next, uh, not the last one, the previous one. Let's say this one. That one, I really like it. Yeah. Um, Steve might not agree with the helmet, but I, I really think that will be a cool design with the... A mage type thing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I, I hadn't even thought about any of this armor for other other fun. than a heavy class. Um, right. There, oh, yeah. are abs there are yeah. absolutely other elements that I might like for something else. I've, I've been looking at it strictly as a heavy class armor. So. Yeah. Um, I, and I think I, I, what I think, uh, what I've been kind of working on is is that this could just be its own class. Like this could be a kind of warrior. Like this is maybe the tank warrior, or you know, maybe some. Just how you have different warrior classes, like barbarian and uh, 
knight and you know that in RPGs you have the, is the different warrior classes. I, I think the the ones that grow should their armor like this should probably be a unique class. So if you see this this kind of thing, you go, oh, I know what that is. So I I think that would be cool. And uh, I've I've worked on for another um, one, but this 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 armor is supposed to be like snake skin armor, and I was thinking that it would be, um, uh, you know, I, uh, very strong. What? I really like that silhouette. The what? Yeah. The silhouette. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Actually, I forgot to do this this thing on that slide, so on the silhouette I just <laughs> drew that in. But, uh, uh, so this would be another kind of warrior. Yeah, I was thinking instead of like wearing leather, uh, they would wear uh, this uh, snake skin thing, and I thought that could be cool in the art, uh, in the like, kind of more the open world thing as well, where you um, you have to find good kind of snake uh, skins and like collect them and then use that as material to um, create to, the armor. Yeah, create the armor. I was thinking, and, and it it goes under uh, the foot a little bit here, so I, I was thinking that that could add um, add grip. So it, it like uh, friction or yeah, some grip thing. So that could be cool. And then uh, and then all this armor is. Uh, is built armor, uh, not grown. But I mean, I don't know. They might, they might uh, still uh, use magic to adjust the shape and stuff. I don't know. But now I don't. I don't. I don't like what this design I did on the the bottom here. I was just trying something. But e everything else I I like about this. And then uh, um, I just try this other skin color. So I thought it looked kind of sharp too, but it's it's. I was definitely wanting to go something more subtle. I mean, I think there's room for both, but something yeah. more subtle. It would be more like leather. In, and, I like the brown in that one. You green. should really. Uh, I like the brown and dark green. Yeah. 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 The the brown and yellow. Is not bad. It's just a little thing. Uh, if you could. Um, Lower the value of the yellow mm -hmm. because right. it's killing my eyes. Yeah, very glowy. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Maybe it's my monitor. I don't know, but yeah, it could it could be my monitor too that makes it seem less uh, uh, neon or whatever. But but. but uh, but yeah, I mean that's like uh, I was just changing the colors and it and I uh, happened upon this real quick and I'm like, oh, that's kind of striking in a way. <laughs> so, but it's like yeah, yeah, and it might look better with different armor and stuff. But I just anyway. No, I'm maybe throw that out. I, I mean oh, maybe different color it's armor. not changing the the yellow, but uh, changing the the uh, the browns. Yeah. Maybe if you change the browns, it wouldn't be right. uh, that much of a of a difference. Well, yeah. I personally, as far as that goes, I would love to see the environment where that actually provides camouflage. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Right. Um, well, I love I... the uh, I love this like the sort of layered plate effect that you've got going on for the abdomen. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I wouldn't, if you were making, like, a shooter or something, uh, maybe worrying about, um, uh, camouflage would be good, but, uh, I think in these games, we want, we want the players to see the, the, the other players and, and stuff, so, uh, like, I think, um, yeah. Re recognizability yeah. is our. It, it, it. I think recognizability of form is fine, but 
it does break a certain amount of believability when things that it, maybe are common it sense to combat are completely ignored. Yeah, that's actually a fine line because um, yeah. at the end of the day, it's a game and needs to be to look cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, of course, you're not going to I don't know uh, <laughs> uh, have it uh, all pink in the right. Uh, I don't know, but um, right neon flashing pink. Yeah, but. <laughs> Uh, there is a, a certain amount of um, room to play, let's say, because uh, you you just need to be uh, enough for the suspension of this belief. Yeah. yeah. I, it, the thing is, if, if you're in some sandy desert that has uh, some yellow sand things with brown rocks and stuff, this might actually... I can see that, that working, but, yeah. What? I can see that. Yeah, but the, thi but the thing is, that, like, you wouldn't want it to, to actually blend because it's like, you wouldn't be like, oh, I didn't even see that character. Where's that character? And you don't want people squinting their eyes and trying to find characters. Well, I, I don't generally do that anyways, but um, I usually die before I have the opportunity to go looking for somebody. <laughs> I don't know, it's just the, this particular outfit, it reads more to me right. like lighter armor, like a scout, somebody that wants to be relatively unnoticed until he's ready to do something. Um, like the big guys with the yep. huge armor and stuff like that, right. they want to be noticed. They want right. people to get, you know, to be focused yeah. on them. Yeah, yeah. this is definitely yeah, lighter. This is this is lighter armor, so this is uh, maybe a, a DP guy or something. Yeah, like number four, I could definitely see that as being something you would, yeah. you know, you'd be sneaking around in the forest and you'd be pretty good with that. Actually, dis desaturated the green of those that I'll say column scales uh, in this one because I wanted to uh, wanted to try and have it not be as noticeable. You could you could tell it's scales, but yeah, yeah. I, 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 but I really like that. Four is my favorite for all of the reasons everyone has listed. Also, drag dragon mm -hmm. rider. Dragon Rider. Screams Dragon Rider to me. I don't know. I don't know that. What's that oh, from? We were gonna have dragons in there, and he just that screams Dragon. Oh, yeah. oh, I, I, yes. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I, got, I thought I, I thought that was from like a movie or. A, well, it's from uh, several movies, yeah. and books, but they don't look like that. But yeah, that that screams ah, cool. Dragon Rider to me. Yeah, I like this one. I think we should just go with this. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be no, easy man, to texture, yeah, that's for sure. The, the black <laughs> and, and, and right here, right here, it should say "image not available." <laughs> <laughs> awesome, fully animated. Four armor not found. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you real? Okay. Yep, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I'll try and do something else. Uh, yeah, I would play around down with that here one. that I, doesn't I suck. Do Color-wise, I do really like that, and silhouette-wise, I do really like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think everything is working ex except down here. Well, you go play, sir. And as for the other one, there are a couple other ones that I kind of like. I don't oh. think that I can say I like them more than the one. Yeah. Or, or possible uh. refinements of the one, but... Well, wh which ones did you have in mind, and maybe you can play with those two? Uh, that kind of triangle, so the last one, the third from the last one, and then the top one being my favorite. This one? That one, the very last one, and then the top row four. Oh, so that, oh, that triangle. triangle. Yeah. Uh, Sweet. And, of course, you can play with helmets and... You and Sergio can try and convince me that <laughs> you're not going to like it instead of a headband. Um, no, I, I, but I do I mean, agree. Like for a mage or something, I can see that. Even though, really, yeah. for a, like a heavy fighter, a huge helmet makes sense. I just don't like it. I can't even tell you why. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, for a heavy, uh, actually, since. Um, 
they already have the protection on the head. I wouldn't want to cover that because it, it adds to the character. Yeah, and um, maybe that's why I don't yeah. like it because it's covering them. but yeah but I would I would add at least a, a head a band yeah. yeah and maybe not some co so concentrated but um, uh, yeah definitely that's one of the things to play yeah I could, play I could play I could play around with different uh, headband things where they just don't cover everything mostly because um, it's a uh, it's something that you will want to show yeah that's what you know I, I try to keep that uh, uh, pointy kind of uh, aspect to it but yeah it's it's obviously that's a that doesn't convey the same thing, you know. It's just a helmet, and it's 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 always gonna helmets are always gonna look a little weird because they're gonna be kind of sh look stretched because their heads are stretched. Yeah, every helmet that you put in you will probably look like like a crown. Yeah. But I really like that one. The, that yeah. one, yeah. Yeah. So. For a warrior, I will go with the with the one on the um, directly above that one. This one. Yeah. Yeah. No, we can just stick with that. I mean, if I, if I if I get uh, profound inf uh, inspiration for something, uh, I'll mess with that. But uh, otherwise, I guess I consider this. Uh, Pretty done. Unless I uh, do you do you think I should I should keep these open like like this and and not like this? I I kind of do, but just want to see what you guys think. Sorry, which part? Uh, uh, around the feet. Yeah, the okay. feet. Like I mean, like the undersuit. Like uh, I mean, because like it. Uh, here, I did that thing. Uh, so yeah, but this is something more. Uh, the one with the scales is something that appears more flexible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in this one, if you add something, it will have to be on the front. Uh, it, it, it's just my opinion, but uh, it will have to be on the front and loose. Like it's only a protection, but it doesn't impede movement. Right. Well, if it was something, it would be like this suit, which is the flexible suit. Mm. Uh, so, it would be that. But, um, yeah, personally, I don't think it needs it, but... Um, I really like the difference in the, the, the asymmetric models, the yeah. asymmetric uh, ones. I like them. I will do just one change. Uh -huh. uh, again, it's just a personal opinion, but the arm, uh, the the arm that it's uh, bigger, the arm piece, I will put it in the other arm and keep the the shoulder pad uh, big oh. and the other one small. Ah, like it is, but just flip the right, the right, arm flip piece. It. Like basically, yeah. just flip this. Yeah, uh, yeah, it will give more. it a more. Um, I don't yeah. know how to explain balance. it. It will keep a symmetry, but it will be more balanced. Yeah, design-wise. Mm, right. That's true. Yeah. Because I, I really like that. I don't yeah. know what uh, what you think. Yeah, I'll try. I'll, I'll try that. That's a that's an interesting idea. I mean, the 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 concept was. Uh, uh, I knew. I mean, I know it's off balance, but the concept would be uh, that here here's uh, the weapon arm. So this one's going to need to be the most flexible and durable and 
uh, yeah, the other and arm is protection, so it will be more. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be as mobile. It doesn't have to be as. Well, I do have a suggestion as far as that. If we wanted to keep with, with the idea that he's going to lead in with that protected side, in order to just absorb the damage coming in, um, you could offset the weight issue um, by having some kind of support somewhere else in the armor. Um, like, we don't know what the back looks like. There might be some additional support there for the spine. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't get me wrong. I, I don't mean uh, in the weight. Um, right, like... I, I mean in the right. silhouette and design. I, the, I don't the, mean the... It, it, the visual um, weight of it, not the oh. actual pounds. Okay, I got you. Uh, those kind of breaks actually give more... Uh, Dynamism is the word, I think. The, the what is it? Dynamism. I, I can't pronounce it correct, correctly. Dynamismo, it's in... Uh, it's more dynamic, let's say. Uh-huh. Uh, when, you, when you do those kind of variations. Uh-huh. But, yeah, I, I do mean in the... Um, in the design uh, aspect, not not the actual uh, weight of the armor, but okay. Uh, yeah, and, and I was th I was thinking that um, <coughs> I mean this Sorry. this could be how you decide to uh, to personalize your like what items, what armor things that you get. You go okay, I want to you know go in the shop and build uh, Alder in the stuff for him, guard the style. Just right. Uh, I mean, I would think. I, I would think uh, you would. You would. Uh, you would start off with something like probably a little bit more like on this side. Um, maybe maybe even a different chest piece or something like you would start out, and then uh, and then you would like later be able to upgrade to to um, these big pieces, and then if you really wanted to. If you wanted to um, add like uh, something like this, uh, that would be a, um, a customizable thing that you could add on. Cool. All right. So it's like, and maybe like in, in this one, like uh, there's no reason that that the, I think this would actually make this would would fix the issue. Also, is like if you, you had this one on this side, this one on this side, this side like this thing, but you still had one one like this over on this side instead of this little one, and it would be a more balanced. The only thing that would be different is that there would be a ball here, and there there would be this here. I mean, it's not it's not completely like I mean. It's it's not. Com I mean, uh, I see. Obviously, your way, Sergio, uh, makes it. Uh, uh, it's it's trading off in visual blockiness, so so it it evens out in a way. And this doesn't this doesn't really even it out in that way. It's not like trading off, but it does make it um, to where it's it's not so dramatic this side to that side. Everybody follow? Yeah, I think so, yep. Uh, oh, so it would just, it'd just be like, yes, it would just be like bringing this to, uh, to say, this one, or this one. Gotcha. And, uh, uh, so this this side would look like this, and that side would have the added stuff. What do you think about that, Sergio? Mm, that could work. Uh, I had to see it. Um, yeah, I'll do it both ways. Look at that. All right, so it sounds like uh, you know what you got to work on. Um, Sergio, did you get a chance to play with walk cycles at all? No, no. 
No, oh, honestly, I just did the, the sword and... and slept and threw up a lot. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, on the bright on the right side, actually, on my end, I did manage to get um, I managed to get the walk cycle to behave, but I really got to fix up the skin before I'm ready to show that. Um, so I'll aim to do that for next week. Alrighty. And then we can have Danielle using a functional weapon inside of Unity, shooting at stuff. <laughs> Outstanding. And yes, it doesn't make sense for energy weapons to have kick, but we're so used to seeing that, it doesn't look right to shoot something and not have that. So, yes, laser guns yeah. are going to kick. <laughs> there will be recoil. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. All right, Wolf. And is it a laser gun or is it a plasma gun? That's a laser. It's like, yeah, it's just basically an energy weapon. I'm not really that concerned about what kind of energy. It's just it's an it's an energy weapon. So. Well, yeah, but I, it, I mean, plasma guns actually it, it, they actually do what laser what we think laser guns do but like laser guns don't really wouldn't really work lasers don't really work the way uh, say the blaster works in uh, in Star Wars that's why I pretty yeah, much well. just call it an energy weapon because then you don't need to worry about what one scientist yeah. says over another as far as how a particular type of gun works I can imagine an lithium with a mirror Ah, screw you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could see that too, sadly. <laughs> uh, I really love that silhouette. Yeah, me too. Yeah, from a visual standpoint, it's meant to be more of like a... more akin to what you see with the blaster weapons in Star Wars, but... like I said, I'm not really that worried about whether it's a fusion beam or a plasma beam or laser beam or whatever. It's just it's an energy right. weapon. Fair enough. And it, it, it really sounded like you were, <laughs> at first, that you were uh, making those comments about the silhouette. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> no anybody, anybody else feel that? Silhouette's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it really looks like a blaster. <laughs> <That's pretty> <laughs> 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 got blasters on the brain, guys. All righty, kids. Well, let's get Sergio some rest and let Richard get back to work. And Wolf, you have a fair amount of uh, concept work to play around with. Yeah. And I will go back to fighting with Go Sweet. to Meeting so that hopefully next week we won't have any troubles. Sounds good. All right, okay. all right guys. Yeah. Thanks for uh, bumping a day for me, and we will <laughs> see you all next week. Good luck, everyone. Yeah. See you then. Bye.